Hello, I'm going to show you how to generate parts in Solid Python and then do a mechanical analysis with uh, the finite element method in FreeCAD. So let's begin. I have a script that generates an assembly using uh, Solid Python. And the benefit with this is that you can get this kind of nice boom where you can get total print time for your 3D printed parts, to part count, I will also add the uh, uh, total weight of the complete assembly as well. If you want to see how it looks like, uh, oh, I have created a little script that will in a very inefficient way render your assembly in a rotating fancy way. If you look at the source code here, you can see that it actually runs uh, OpenSCAD to render uh, an image uh, of a preview and then I use pgame to open the image for each uh, show, for each frame and that's very awful bad way to do it but it helps during development. And that's why it's a little bit laggy as well. You can also use uh, this is a little bit more helpful. This just renders four images from different perspectives. So then you can run it like. And then view it. Then it's very easy to do. So now the part we want to analyze is. Uh, let's remove those. This printed spring. So if we run it again we will see that the, it's this part. It's the little spring. <laughs> and as you can see the boom become much smaller. Now look, it almost costs nothing. Uh, <coughs> so over to uh, to be able to do anything we still have to run OpenSCAD but with the generated uh, uh, image uh, the generated sky free uh, open scad project file that isn't that fancy looking but yeah here so we start to render this my computer is a bit slow so it takes a little while and then yeah we can start to okay it's done now so uh I can export it as an CSG file. Yeah, let's save it here. And then let's export it as an SDL as well. Uh, and then we're done. Then we can close this. Now we open FreeCAD. This is the latest build from Git. It's a little bit bothersome to set up, but you can manage it if you're patient. Uh, then we want to go into the finite element method workbench. We start a new project and then we want to file import and then we want to go down to no not here generator here. Now we can import our CSG file. Voila! And then we need to add an analysis container, then we get Calculix, we have to add the material and the material I'm going to use is ABS. And as you can see here, the, the values are at the lower end of the spectrum, so this is like the worst ABS you can get. Uh, and then we need to yeah, take the material and create a mesh from it. And then we have to limit it to quite a small size in order to get uh, the, the smaller mesh you get, the, the better analysis you can do. But it all will also be slower and take longer time. We'll make it two for now. And then we press apply. And then my computer will be very, very sad for a little bit. Yeah, let's show how. Let's show you how sad it is. This, you know, working hard. <laughs> you 
Yeah, I'll have to insert some music here, but I'm probably too lazy to do that. So we'll have to wait. Hopefully you will not have to see this. Yeah, it's done. Yeah. Now press close. Now we got this nice looking mesh. Looky looky. And what do we want to do now? We can, we want to add some uh, constraints. So here, now we have told it that now this will be fixed. And then we will have some force that are supposed to act on it. So we press on this button up here. Uh, force acting, yes. Then we add it on this face, but I want it in the other direction, down. Okay, and what do we know now? We press on the calculus button, and then we press on this little button here, calculate. And then my computer will go back to be really, really sad for a little while. Yeah, that was fast. Yeah, the smaller mesh for now. Then we can see here. One Mises stress is what's interesting for us. You can look as at displacement, but this is a spring. It should be displaced, so this doesn't tell us that much. Uh, this is more interesting because here you can see where the big loads or the stress in the material is. And then you can add more or show add more stress. And you can do spoinky, spoinky, spoinky. Yeah, that's really funny. So yeah, that's about what I wanted to show. I'm not totally 100% sure what everything means. I'm not an expert on this. Uh, yeah, another thing I should show you is uh, this. If you look down here, it kind of like merges together. And yeah, that's not good. So what you should do is that you should uh, I want to reset you first. Yeah, go back, close. Uh, you should go in and uh, add here. You have const uh, uh, contact between your faces. Then you have to add a click here and add a master and then a slave and then yeah and so on for every layer here. And then you will have, properly have some collision handling and the, it will not merge into each other. Uh, hopefully, if everything works fine. 